Now let's take a look at how we're going to go about actually maintaining and creating Active Directory once we have it installed and understand how it's working and all. The primary tool that you're going to use is the Microsoft Management Console. Now if I click on Start and go to Administrative Tools and for example go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Now we'll come back to this and do quite a lot with it a little bit later on. But what I want to point out here is that the environment that this is opened up in is called the Microsoft Management Console, and that's what this video is about. Because you'll notice that this is the Active Directory Users and Computers. So I'm going to close this, go right back to Start, right back to Administrative Tools, and you'll notice there's Active Directory Sites and Services. And if I open that, you will notice very similar environment. Well, that is the MMC, or the Microsoft Management Console. Now what's interesting about this is you're more than welcome to use it just like this, and that is you open basically a different MMC for whatever functionality, ADSI Edit. If I open that, notice MMC again. Well, there's another trick that I want to show you, and I just want you to think about this as you do whatever it is you do as a network administrator or whatever your job title is. And let's take a look at the MMC in general. Now what I'd like you to do is click on Start and then choose Run. And you get this little box, the Open box that pops up here. You may not see anything there. You might see a command you've run recently. But what I want you to do is if you just type MMC right there and click OK. Now you need to be logged in as an administrator to be able to pull all this off. But this brings up a empty, or I should say an empty, MMC console. Now what we can do is start to load functionalities into this that we can manage a lot of different things from this one screen. So what I'm going to do first of all is expand this to make it full screen and I'm going to grab this make it a little wider. Click on File. Then you can choose Add Remove Snap In. Now as it turns out those tools that I showed you at the first of this video, the Active Directory Users and Computers and all those other things those are active, actually active Microsoft Management Console snap-ins. So notice I can grab the Active Directory Users and Computers snap-in and add it in here. I can grab Sites and Services, drop it in there. Domains, I can add that, Domains and Trust. Then I can add the ADSI Edit in there. Then I can even add computer management in there. And I can notice some of these will ask you other questions. Computer management, local computer, or I can point to another computer on my network. So I may want to run this one two or three times and add other computers in. And uh, let's, uh, oh, let's grab another one, DNS. We're going to do a lot of stuff with DNS. Now notice I've added all of those, and then I can click OK. Now notice what it did. Some bells and whistles should be going off in your brain. Now I can expand Active Directory Users and Computers and I can work with all my users. We will do quite a bit of this in different videos. I can compress that back down. I can go into my Sites and Services and work with that just like I did before. If you remember in a different video we talked about Global Catalog Server. Well I can get to that right here if I come on down and not, not talk and work at the same time. So I can get to all those things right here. Then notice ADSI Edit, a tool we haven't really seen or played with a lot. But uh, I can go out there and work with that. The computer management, you've probably seen this, I don't know, a couple million times. Notice we can do all that right in the same tool. So what you can do with this, obviously, as you see, you can put just about any management functionality that you need in here and be able to work everything from this one screen. What we'll do now is click on File, Save As, and I'm going to put this on my desktop, and I'll just call it Mark MMC, and hit Save. Close this, and yeah, I'll do that, and notice here's the Mark MMC. So anytime I need to do any of those functions, I just double click on Mark MMC, and it'll take it a second here that opens up and there's my management console now there's a lot of things you can do and we will play with a number of these different tools in here and as we go through the course we may just open them 
like Active Directory users and computers right from that administrative tools but I wanted you to see this because in the real world you will probably want to add a bunch of those snap-ins into a console so that you don't have to keep going down here to start opening new things and so forth because notice I can be working in Active Directory users and computers and need to jump down to domains and trust and just simply open it up. Notice they can both be open at the same time here. There's a lot of things that you can do with this and this can really, really give you a lot of power as an administrator to take care of whatever you know, you're responsible for. And so I just wanted you to see this, just wanted you to know how to work with this management console.